everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. This week I want to talk about blowing your own horn a little bit, uh, wagging your own tail. And it was brought to me that a, a quote, I believe it was from Mark Twain, commented that a dog that wouldn't wag his own tail wasn't really much of a dog. And when you think of it, you know, dogs are very good about wagging their tails. They promote their happiness. They're very unabashed. They're not shy. When they're happy, they're happy. They let you know. So why don't we do this more with our practice? It's something that it's hard enough running a veterinary practice as it is and dealing with all the life and death situations that we go through, but when we get something that goes really well, I think it's important that we actually broadcast it out there, send out a press release, wag your own tail. It's okay to do that, okay? And clients like to hear from you. So go for it. Wag your own tail. Couple action steps for you this week. Number one, look around for the great things that happened in the practice. And that could be a fracture that you, that you repaired, it could be an exploratory that you removed a, you know, a, a glove out of a dog's stomach or whatever it is and they go home. Those are great things, you know, that you actually did in your practice. You and your staff did. So the important thing is to find those things, then sit down and write a quick little press release Okay, which, you know, you can go and search the web on how to do that. There's some basic fundamental elements that need to go into it to make sure it gets picked up. And then collect success stories from your clients to put in that press release as well because you are promoting your practice and you are promoting the fact that number one, you get things done and that you successfully uh, treat pets and animals, that you increase the health of animals. And then here down here that there are clients that actually agree with that. According to the clients, you're actually doing that as well. And then send them out. Now, where you would send them, there are numerous places that you can go for that. The simplest one is to look at your local radio station, televis television station, and newspaper and look for the editors. And then there will be email addresses that you can send these, period, these, uh, these uh, press releases to. I would probably look at trying to put out one a month. There's nothing wrong with that. You may not get picked up right away, but eventually the press like great stories. For example, there was another one where a client of ours, uh, Dr. Zoe Ross, experienced a dog coming in with Parvo. And you and I may think that Parvo is kind of, you know, uh, run of the mill stuff, but what she did, she sent out a press release to her clients. She sent out an email saying, hey, if your dogs, and cat, your dogs aren't vaccinated, make sure you bring them in. Well, a client then referred that on to a local television, uh, television station, and the next day the television truck was parked outside with cameras and they were interviewing Dr. Ross on what was going on with Parvo. So the bottom line is, guys, we do great things. Be proud of it. Go for it. Wag your own tail. Thanks very much. That's all we got for you this week. Dylan, thanks for your camera work. Thank you very well. And tell your friends about Whiteboard Wednesday. Please get back to us. Make comments on Facebook and on YouTube. We'd love to hear back from you. And we'll go from there. Thanks, guys.